Welcome, Gabby Wynn. Oh, my God. Oh, this is amazing. Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, I want to do a little recap. Normally, Alyssa does this when it comes to these reality shows. But so Bachelor Nation first came to know you when you uh, were on one. You were one of the women on Clayton's season. Yes. The Bachelor. Then yes. you went on to become the Bachelorette. That's correct. Um, along with Rachel Recchia, you ended up getting engaged to Eric. Yes. In a beautiful moment, kind of during the, la the finale last year. Yes. Um, Things have changed. They have. <laughs> uh, so ultimately, you broke up. But anyone who follows you on social media knows you've been um, open about the ups and downs and mm. of your dating life, but you've gone a little radio silent lately. Yeah, not radio silent. Well, not radio silent. <laughs> calling but, me right out. But uh, <laughs> no, I have. Do you have any it's updates or anything? to tell I, us? Yes, I do. Um, and thank you so much for the introduction. And I've had such an amazing experience just with my time on Bachelor and Bachelorette, dating all of those men. And now, like, that's how people know me. Um, and I do. I always want to just, like, live my truth and my story. Um, so, and I have been seeing someone for a couple months. And I've been keeping it a little more private because it is, like, a bigger story and a bigger conversation. Um, because I'm dating a girl. Oh! Yeah! 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 Yeah
needs to like almost, you know, beat people to the punch. They're gonna say what yes. they wanna say, but I want them to I want them to hear it come from my mouth. And try not to read the comments too much. Oh, I'm like turning off like the yeah, the DMs, like staying off. But yeah. I think what's this it honestly like of course I was nervous coming here, but it feels like a huge weight lifted right. just to be able to talk about it publicly. Because mm. I oh, thank you. basically relates to what you're saying so that's why I'm jumping okay. uh, because how did your family take all this yes I, they were you know at first when my girlfriend and I in the uh, beginning started dating I was like I oh, will see where it goes and then it was like going very well I'm like oh I could see the future kind of for wow. once um, and, and it just felt so right and so I was like okay I got to tell them I can't wait for the perfect time there's never a good time yeah. you know so and they don't live in the same state as me so I face time dumb and you know both of their jaws like dropped to the floor um, but they were like we just want you to be happy and that, that's nice yes, yeah it that's means a lot reaction. that's great yeah, yeah totally they've really been supportive I think you know I do kind of come from a conservative family in a very heteronormative world yeah obviously I was on dating shows dating men yeah. I was a Broncos cheerleader for five years like my whole oh. world was kind of like male gazy yeah. um, so I feel like it's not something my parents ever imagined for me right. so I think it's gonna take time just like the rest of the world just like for me mm -hmm. you know yeah. it took me a while to like stop questioning and just start trusting mm -hmm. and I'm fully trusted and I'm here thank you and I think that's really the big takeaway is like maybe it's not so much like of obviously it's about sexuality but it's also the person I met yeah, like yeah. she is so special she makes me feel so safe so loved like a love that I always wanted going on these dating shows mm -hmm. so now it's like yeah exactly did you really think you're gonna find that on the dating show though Seriously. somehow <laughs> some people <laughs> look well, you're yeah. also not alone in bachelor nation of people who have ended up you know got, Becca Tilly was on dating a man and yes. now she's in a very happy relationship yeah so I would privately encourage you to reach out to them just for support of navigating it publicly yes. but I have to mention in addition to being a Broncos cheerleader yes. you're an ICU nurse and you worked during the through the pandemic oh, um, first just thank yes. you for that oh, thank you guys uh, the most supportive audience thank how you did that, how did that impact you just your life I can't imagine yeah I, it was hard it was really hard for the two years um, I did a lot of emergency relief work so I was working up to 80 hours a week mm -hmm. um, it was night not nice but it was like I had a skill that yeah. everybody needed I was an ICU nurse you know for like six or seven years at that yeah. point so I was very comfortable being thrown into the fire but um I think you know what we took away from COVID was was the lack of connection through social distancing through just not being able to like yeah it was awful seeing your loved ones last moments on Right, Based on, on like yeah. Zoom. When they're on a ventilator. Right, yeah, and we, and yeah. the nurse facilitated a lot of that. So yeah. I think kind of coming out of the other side, it's like this is what we've all been craving for yeah. years, and now I get it in a way that I never would have expected. Like I really just feel mm -hmm so connected to my girlfriend to myself mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I've grown so much from it well, Gabby I have to ask you a question uh, ABC recently announced the man who will be the first golden bachelor yeah now you're very close with your grandpa John and yeah. he played kind of a pivotal role in your time on the show yeah do you think he'd make a good contestant <laughs> oh my gosh I don't <laughs> <laughs> He cannot take direction. He can't follow the rules. He does whatever he wants at all times. So that sounds like, like fun I love grandma. Grandma. He's, so, he's really hard to keep track of. He has a flip phone, so we like he's on his second air tag. We just like <laughs> you lose back up. Yes, we lose him he's constantly. Yeah, so we're like, oh god, where is he? Like Sequoia <laughs> National Park. Grandpa, he get like out. An adventurous yeah. gate to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, thank you for coming to us and and trusting us with that. Oh, thank it's you. Really yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Our thanks to Gabby, Wendy, and we, of course, will be right back. <laughs>